Good morning, Eagle Nation. I'm Gianna Galante. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for a moment of silence. Congrats on making it through the first week of school, and now it's time for Eagle Nation News. Good morning, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us. Today is Friday, August 13th. I'm Mithra Kama. And I'm Zach Manning. The largest wildfire in California history has been responsible for the destruction of hundreds of homes and the need for nearly 6,000 firefighters on site. The Dixie Fire has threatened 14,000 buildings and continues to spread through more than 762 square miles since 2020. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced that he will be resigning from his role. The resignation comes after allegations of sexual misconduct. Regarding departure, Cuomo said, quote, I will never want to be unhelpful in any way. Tuesday, August 10th, it was reported that President Joe Biden is checking if his presidential powers give him the ability to intervene in states banning mask mandates. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has threatened to withhold funding from school districts requiring the wearing of masks. The president has responded by telling the governor to get out of the way of districts attempting to stop the spread of COVID-19. Although teaching can be a challenging task for some individuals, many PHS students are interested in pursuing careers in education. Case Spears takes a closer look at how the PHS Taffy program prepares students to lead in the classroom. Over the summer break, PHS students in the Texas Association of Future Educators competed in the Educators Rising National Competition. The students obtained top 10 recognition in every event they entered and captured first place in three events. To get ready for the competitions, Ready, Set, Teach students spend time preparing for events of their choice. Often, local PISD experts offer support and feedback to the students in order to guarantee they are prepared. For example, last year, the area conference was held virtually and required submission of a video for the presentation in many areas of the competition. To help create professional videos, the PHS Taffy program partnered with Mr. Logan's AV Production students. This year, the first featured competition is Taffy Area 11, held on November 5th at Texas A&M Commerce. The top five students in each event will advance to state. To prepare the students that advance to state, the students review the judges' rubrics to see where there is room for improvement and continue to call upon industry professionals for coaching. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Kay Spears. The conclusion of summer brings the start of PHS sports and the wrap-up of the Summer Olympics. Grace Esquibel highlights the season openers in this week's installment of Game Time. Thanks, Mithra. Volleyball opened the season with a win over the Lovejoy Leopards 15-9 in the final set to win the match. The Lady Eagles are competing in the Rockwell Tournament at Heath this weekend. The first match will be held at 11.30 against Heath. In more prosper news, tennis continued the start of the winning seasons with a 10-9 victory over Frisco Reedy. The Eagles will take to the courts again in a home match against Independent today at 4.30. Moving from the courts to the course, Cross Country had its first practice meet of the season on Saturday at 7 a.m. against Rock Hill. In pro news over the summer, Tokyo hosted the Summer Olympics and the United States left with 39 gold medals, 41 silver, and 33 bronze, totaling in 113 medals in all. Included in the gold medals was the U.S. women's basketball team victory. The women have won every gold, 
since the Olympic Games in 1996, which is before Aja Wilson, forward for the Olympic team, was even born. And more basketball news, on Monday, Dallas Mavs superstar Luka Doncic agreed to sign the richest rookie extension contract in NBA history. When his new deal is set in after the final year of his rookie contract, Doncic will receive $207 million over the course of five years. Thanks to his two selections in the first team All-NBA roster, Doncic is the first player in the league of the history to qualify for a Supermax rookie extension. From new movie releases to TV shows, Allison Wood has all the entertainment news you need in this week's edition of Talent Talk. Thanks, Zach. After the tragic death of longtime Jeopardy! host Alex Trebek, a new host of the beloved game show has finally been announced. Two hosts, to be exact. The former executive producer, Mike Richards, along with actress Mayim Balek, will become co-hosts of the show. Both will work to move the show from the Trebek days into a new, more modern version. And speaking of new, producer Ryan Murphy is working with Monica Lewinsky to produce a retelling of her side of the Clinton impeachment. The miniseries will be the third installment in FX's True Crime series. On to another new release, Free Guy starring Ryan Reynolds is set to release today after being delayed due to COVID. After the break, we'll take a look at a new addition to Friday's Eagle Times this school year. Every other Friday will look a little different this year due to homeroom being introduced to the schedule. Madeline Wentz has more information on what this means for students and teachers alike. The start of the 2021-2022 school year brings many changes, one of them being the addition of homeroom to the schedule. This newly adopted time occurs every other week on an A-Day Friday and strives to make positive change in PHS students' educations. We just want a place for students to go that feels kind of like a home away from home. Homeroom aims to connect students and teachers through various activities and programs. We'll do some question answering and asking, and we're also going to do some videos and curriculum that is written by Damon West, who is a famous author and speaker, and also John Gordon. The ultimate goal of Homeroom is to establish a safe space for all students within PHS. We hope that they all just have a place where they feel like they can come and be authentically themselves and just a place that they can kind of take a break from the academics of school and focus more on the relationship building part of school. PHS students hoping to form connections with others this school year can find encouragement and growth during homeroom on A-Day Fridays. I'm Madeline Wentz reporting for ENN. When connecting and growing through a shared school spirit, pep rallies are a common place to start. Diane Shaw updates us on how the new student pep rally worked to unite this year's student body. On Thursday, August 5th, PHS hosted a pep rally to welcome new students into the Eagle Nation environment. The pep rally included special performances from band and color guard, talonettes, and cheerleaders, as well as special games for students to participate in. Through this pep rally, new students were not only able to experience a strong sense of community created by different organizations throughout the school, but also build an understanding of how we can continue to connect and grow as a campus. Pep rallies can integrate our new students into the school environment by making them feel a part of Prosper. We have some fun things planned for upcoming pep rallies, just things to really kind of get the crowd involved so they don't feel like they're watching a pep rally, they feel like they're a part of a pep rally. As the Prosper community continues to expand, PHS students have the opportunity to deepen their school spirit and help spread it throughout the town, whether at pep rallies, athletic events, or other community-wide activities. A school with strong school spirit can accomplish a lot of things. I remember back when I was in high school and we had a lot of school spirit just around the school in general. We were proud of to be a part of that school. We were proud of where we came from. and um, We always kind of rallied around each other, uplifted each other and supported each other just out of a school spirit. When students are able to take pride in their school, they can also connect with each other in the process. This is evident in pep rallies, where students at PHS come together to celebrate their common bond. Regardless of our differences, we are prosper, we are one. I'm Diane Shaw, reporting for Eagle Nation News. That's all we have for you today, Eagle Nation. I'm Zach Manning. And I'm Mithra Kama. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.